Hello everyone, I'm Jay uh, from AskJay.com. Today we are going to discuss CISSP versus SISM exam, right? So CISSP is from IC Square, that's Certified Information System Security Professional, and SISM, which is Certified Information Security Manager, is from ISACA, right? ISACA, ISACA, <laughs> I'm not sure what you call it, but it's uh, uh, English was not my first language, so I will stick with ISACA, right? So, the exams and the certification, right? Let's talk about the certification first. I believe they are both considered to be at the similar level, considered very highly um, in a like gold standard in security. Although CISSP could be a bit more, considered a bit more gold standard than CISM because it's a sheer... Um, the challenge involved in getting a CISSP or passing the exam, man, it's crazy, which we'll get into in a, in a second, CISSP exam. Right? CISM, on the other hand, um, is relatively easier when you compare to uh, CISSP. Right, so the career opportunities and how many professionals we have. I think I'm looking at uh, here cyberseek.org, and this is for America only. And if you do the, if you're looking at the numbers here, it says there are 90,334 CISSP certificate, certificate holders and there are about 120,000 job openings, right? So that's about three jobs for every two cert um, certified professionals, uh, three job openings. And if you're looking at CISM, it is 17,000 certified professionals where compared to 42,000 job openings. So for every two uh, certified professionals, there are about five <laughs> openings, right? So there are obviously more uh, jobs available for a CISM and less professionals, less certified professionals there uh, than CISSP, right? So it seems CISM seems to be a popular choice here, uh, but trust me, <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm in no bias here, but Truth is, CISSP, getting CISSP certification is a lot harder than CISM. I personally went through both certifications in the last six months. I've done my CISSP in uh, October 2020 and uh, CISM in December 2020. So in two months time, I got both. Um, just to put that in the context, if you look at Competia Security Plus, there are 178,000 certified professionals uh, compared to 51,000 openings. So there are more prof professionals than uh, jobs, right? But CISSP is the uh, other way around. Definitely there is a value in it. If you have the certification, you can command really good, um, um, good uh, uh, salary and benefits and whatnot. Um, hopefully you love what you do, right? <laughs> You're not doing it just for, just, just for money. So, um, Getting the certification means you, you must have experience. So, and, and experience is more worth than getting the certifications. Right, getting into the exam, CISSP versus CISM exam, right? I get asked this a lot, uh, LinkedIn or elsewhere, because people, some people know I, I, I'm certified in both. So, first things first, CISSP exam is day night, day night difference to CISM. It's brutal. It's right, brutal, right? You do all your preparation, whether it is six months, three months, two months, whatever you have given, and you go to the exam and you open the screen, you probably answer a couple of first uh, couple of questions, and then it starts. And it, <laughs> it starts and it, you slowly think, you start to think, am I taking the right exam? That's how it is, because CISSP exam is adoptive and uh, you can only do it in an in a exam center although they are trialing now remote proctoring as well, it, but it's not available for everybody. It's only in America, and uh, I'm not sure how it's going to work. Uh, in the remote proctoring as well um, uh, method, they're not doing the adoptive test. It's like uh, six hours, 250 questions uh, um, exam they're doing. So I'm not sure how well, well it's going to work. But the one I have done, uh, and one many people have done over the last two uh, couple of years, 
is you have to physically go into an exam center, Pearson View exam center, and then you have to take the test there. And uh, the adaptive exam means the, your next question will change based on the answer you have given to the previous question, right? So uh, if you answer them right, you're going to get tougher questions and you're getting close to passing the exam. If you answer them wrong, you're getting the easier questions and you're getting close to not passing or failing the exam, right? So, and that's prob that will probably uh, dis um, decide how many questions you're going to get in the exam as well. So with CISSP, you don't know whether you get 100 questions or 150 questions or anywhere between, right? When the exam decides for sure you're going to fail or going to pass, I think the exam stops, right? I have um, done a couple, uh, other videos about CISSP, exam questions, practice questions, um, and uh, resources I used and all that. Please do check them out. Um, trust me, this is tough. This is brutal. If you are really experienced um, security manager, maybe you will find it easier than myself. But um, be prepared. <laughs> Get ready. Embrace yourself. Right? <laughs> Hope I'm not scaring you, but it is a scary exam. Uh, on the other side, CISM, right? I went for CISSP first and then I went to CISM. And that method, I found CISM to be like easy, like e easier than walk in the park, right? I at, at some point in the exam, I was doing this uh, remotely proctored exam from my office here. And uh, at some point I, I, I felt bored to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four hours exam, 150 questions, uh, set questions, and uh, I have done so many practice questions from Isaka themselves. And um, you know, your exam questions are very similar, not the same questions, but very, very similar. And uh, it's, it's like, well, as soon as you read the question, you kind of know the answer straight away, looking at the options. Um, so I was like, mm, there's no challenge here. But CISSP, every question was like a slap on the face it's like what the hell this question where did it, where did it come from did i i mean is it did i read uh, read this before you know it's like oh man uh, trust me so CISM is relatively easier if you do the cissp first but if you're doing the CISM first maybe you will find it a bit more challenging and then you'll probably some people approached me, they said, oh, I just did the CISM and how much time I need and what do I need to go and do CISSP. Oh, just in case, if you haven't noticed, that's my CISSP and that's my CISM certificate, <laughs> right? So, yeah, the exam, as I said, the CISSP was more challenging. If you can, I would recommend doing the CISSP first, the biggest challenge get it out of the way and season will be walk in the park for you right and then you have the endorsement process afterwards you have to prove you have the experience a CISSP again I will I'll talk about the endorsement process in a separate video but I hope that helped between both certifications both are really good uh, one of them is challenge uh, challenging tough to get than other one um, but if you're doing it for the first time you might find both challenging or both easier it really depends on your experience and your uh, learning style and everything else, right? So I hope that helps. Um, please do like and subscribe if, if uh, that helped you, right? Thank you very much and you have a good one. Cheers.